Hey YouTube, um, this is DIY Electronics, and um, this is my first video, first post, and I'm um, gonna try to give you the basics on what you need for tools in your lab. Um, all right, let's start out. So, tools. Okay. First, you're gonna need a multimeter. Um, whether it's digital or analog, that's up to you. Um, analog's a little harder to read. Um, if you really don't know what you're doing, digital is pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'll go through those in another video, but these are an essential part to know what's going on in the circuit and to test and analyze and um, troubleshoot. Amazing little tools. Um, you need a breadboard. You know, you're not going to want to solder everything to a prototyping board to start off with. You may want to start with a breadboard and um, work your way up after you understand how everything connects and works. And, and it's good for before you prototype to make sure it works before you solder it on the board to find out it's not going to work. <laughs> um, jumper wires. Um, uh, typically they're not this long. These ones I cut as I need them. I got a whole box full of cut ones already that I use um, from small to big. Um, and they'll be used for jumping from terminal to terminal on the breadboard to connect your different components. Um, you need um, a wire for when you do prototype. Um, this will help you run the traces if you don't want to drag a piece of solder all the way through. Um, 20 to 22 gauge will work just fine. Um, a solder wick. It's just a copper wick braid. Um, this is super solder wick from um, MG Chemicals. It's, they, it's cheap. Um, it's good for removing small amounts of solder. I wouldn't try removing a lot with it. Um, another thing is a desoldering pump. You know, you heat the solder up, you push the button, it sucks it right up, and bam, you're good to go. Um, it's reusable, unlike the solder braid, which after you use it, you need to cut it off and then I use more of it. Um, uh, rosin core flux. Um, a lot of your solder wire you get comes already has a rosin core in the center of it with flux in it, and you don't need to apply any more flux. But sometimes there are situations where you need to have the flux to apply it, um, and if you ain't got it, you can't apply it, and you're wondering why your solder isn't sticking. Um, you got two different kinds of solder. Well, there's more than two different kinds, but um, you got lead that I'm using and silver. Um, these are about 30 or 40 dollars a roll, I think. Maybe more for the silver solder. Oh, I forget. I bought this a long time ago. It lasts for a long time for one pound roll. Um, you know, one pound roll of the lead too. Your 60 40 is what you typically use. It's I'm not gonna go into that more later, but you'll see the numbers on the front of it. Um, set of screwdrivers, essential in electronics for taking stuff apart to putting it together. Um, these are precision screwdrivers, which means they're small. Um, this security bit set here comes with um, your triangle bits, your and different security bit heads that you know are hard to find. Um, and small stars and small flatheads, small Phillips, um, small squares. Um, this is a good, good little set from Harbor Freight. You're gonna need batteries. Um, you can't have enough batteries. Um, you're gonna need an adjustable power supply, which I will go into in another video on how to build your own. Um, you need a set of. Um, Wire strippers. These are set of clines. They work great. They're a little more expensive than the ones you get at Walmart, but they'll last you a lot longer. A pair of needle nose. You know, go into more of that later. Um, a pair of nippers. Um, a calculator is also very, very useful to have around you. Um, if you're actually trying to design and build your own circuits, a calculator, you can't beat it because there's a lot of math involved. And as long as you know the formulas and you may not necessarily know how to do the math, you can use a calculator to run through it real quick. Um, another thing is a set of helping hands. Um, this is a 6 or $7 set from Harbor Freight. I mean, it's a cheap little set, but it does what I need it to do, and that's the important thing. Um, you may need also some electrical tape. Um, 
I try not to use this too often, besides when I have to, I try to make all my connections using solder, and um, try to keep them concealed, I don't like combining everything together, and then I got a set of um, little things I put on the end of my multimeter, so I can clip it on the wires, and I don't have to hold it there, and I can test it as I'm running through the procedures. Um, that soldering iron is another very, very important thing. I don't have my good one. My good one, the heating element burn out of it, so this is just a cheap one I use for desoldering or whatever the case may be. I mean, nothing serious. And, um, these are some of your basic tools you're going to need for any serious DIY electronics. Um, any project you're doing, you're going to need these. And, um, you're also going to need strip board, which it's behind me. I would go grab it real quick. But, um, and you're also going to need um, components, but we will go into components later. These are just your tools. And, um, alright. Look, see, forward to seeing you on my next video.